What's going on you guys? So another HP Elite Desk 800 G4. Uh, it's gonna be a tear down. So the first you guys are gonna do is remove the side cover panel. There's a little latch right here in the back. I'm gonna show you guys, you see that? You're gonna lift it up like this. Then you can slide the side cover panel. So first all we'll do guys is gonna remove the rear system fan. It's a 92 millimeter. So there will be three screws in the back. And you have to use a Phillips head screwdriver. And now I will have to switch the bit set to this is a T15, basically Torx. And what I will do is I'm gonna remove the screws here for the power supply. It has one, two, three screws also on the back. Now I'll also go to the front and I will remove the front cover plastic. So it's gonna lift up like this. And I'm gonna lift this up. So there's a wire here, you're gonna remove it. And what I'll do is I'm gonna move the hard drive, disconnect the SATA power cable. And there's a little latch right here. See that right here? It's like a secure clip. So you lift it up like this. And what you're gonna do is the fastest, the fastest way to remove it, you're gonna like this, and you're gonna slide it, put your hand like there in the back, and you should be able to slide just like that. See? And you're gonna go like that and just just hold the hard drive like this. Your hand like that, and then you're gonna slide it three and a half inch so yeah you could fit two three and a half inch hard drives here it looks like two and a half inch one hard drive or a solid state drive right here so what i will do disconnect the SATA power cable for optical drive and again to do that i'm just gonna you see that you're gonna press it up like this and it should slide slide down the optical drive Do is I'm gonna disconnect the SATA, remove the SATA power cable. And you're gonna disconnect this connect to the motherboard. This is our internal speaker. And disconnect the four pin right here in the corner for the CPU power and the power supply. Okay, so you do that. So you're gonna take a screwdriver like this. Uh, you see right here, there's like, like a clip right here. You're gonna press on it right there. And before you do that, you have to remove our solid state drive. So I'm gonna go around like this. To remove the 2280 SSD here, the M.2, looks like you have to use a mini Phillips head. 
and you're gonna slide it out like this. There we go. And remove the power supply, you're gonna go like that, hold it, and press it down right here. There's a clip right here. There's a clip right there, you see that? You should slide. You can disconnect right here, another P power connector here. See that? Now I'm gonna go on the other side like this. Remove the PCI brackets. What I'm gonna do is uh, move the fan here, the CPU cooler. And you're gonna disconnect the CPU fan header right here from the motherboard. I need to grab a napkin. Paper towel. Like this. And wipe it down before I remove the CPU. Take this clip right here, like this, and lift up the CPU. Now I'm going to remove the RAM. And so the motherboard, like the, so you guys can see it's like a micro ATX, but it's extended right here, go to the right. So this motherboard is not designed to use another case, it's designed to use for this case only. So I just don't recommend it. If you're gonna try to take this motherboard and install in like a custom PC case, I don't recommend. I would just take the CPU out, the RAM, SSD, and use a different motherboard. I don't recommend it because see how extended is the power supply, the USB, because it's also the motherboard. I'll show you guys. So let me go pull this from the side here. Okay, so it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine screws. You have to remove. I'm gonna start from the bottom. There'll be one screw here in the corner. And one in the corner on the left side. So now what I'll do is I'm gonna pull the motherboard out. 
And to do that, looks like there's a, we have to remove this screws here also. Let's see, let me look at it, probably not. So you're gonna slide to the right. So how's the, this is how the motherboard looks like. See that, look, look at the front. So USB ports and the power supply is built into the motherboard. So that's why I don't recommend using this to install a different case. So see that. And let's see what will be the last part. Will be the speaker internal right here. I'm gonna remove the last speaker. See that in the corner. Your down is complete, guys, and this will be the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.